Some Explorers. We are here in Fairfield Hills Asylum in Connecticut. People have been telling me to come here like since I started making YouTube videos and I've always ignored this place because it's kind of trash. But we are taking it back to basics today. But the reason why I came to this place is because for one, my homie Beth behind me said, you gotta come here because there's still some cool stuff here. And I know there is some cool hallway pictures you can take here. The architecture is still pretty dope. This place has over 16 buildings, and we're gonna try to just jump around through each building. You can just chill here and walk around. People walk their dogs here, things like that. It opened up in 1933, and they closed in 1995. And the reason why this place was actually built was because the other two hospitals in Connecticut were overcrowded. So what happened was they built this place and just slapped it in the middle of the woods at the time, and just to take more patients because it was just so overcrowded. It's kind of was like a last resort, but what happened over the years is like people were mistreated, you know, the whole shebang. If you watch my other videos, I'll say the same history. Everyone was, everyone was mistreated. People took the wrong medicines like that. Things happen. Apparently this place is super haunted. I mean, ghost, uh, paranormal activity uh, people came here, did some ghost investigations. Beyond the Dark will not be filmed here. It'll be filmed at other spots. Not neglecting this place or talking junk about it. I just don't think it's that haunted. But we'll find out, guys. We'll see if this is haunted as we go through. So yeah, let's get right up into it. Basic rundown of the history on this place. It was open Check out the merch. Link in the description down below. Down in December of 1995. So guys, first off, we're starting here in the pharmacy in the basement. Such a uh, actually cool light. Look at that, look at how the light's coming in. You know, boom, look at this. This is a photo right here. This is already a photo, this is dope. I mean, it's super destroyed. We're walking through the wreckage right now, literally. And the door, Beth pointed this out, this is super cool because the door, when the patients would line up to get their medicine, they would just open up this part and give it to you. It says ring bell for service. Oh, I did, uh, see, I never seen this part. I only seen the back. Cool. That is cool. Dude, it's, this, the water is flowing in the basement from the roof. It's leaking down here. Oh, that's how you know it's the pharmacy. <laughs> Let's add a sound effect for the, bu the buzzer. <laughs> I didn't expect that. What's interesting about this asylum is not every asylum did uh, lobotomies, but this asylum did. It also did electric shock therapy and hydrotherapy. Let's take these stairs. Watch this. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the front got smashed. Ouija board! This could be beyond the dark potential. I told you. I told you guys. This glass is crazy. Well, there was a, well, I didn't know there was a church in here. It's is it really a chapel, though, or is that a lie? No, it is. No, it is. Look, see? Oh, oh. Check it. This is Satan's chapel now. Satan's chapel, 666. <laughs> it is a secret uh, The hallway looks a lot nicer than the basement one, though. Ooh. So what we're walking through right now is actually some of the patients' beds and things where they would stay. So it seems like they had a lot of freedom here. They were able to just actually leave here, go downstairs and get their medicine. Uh, so this ain't like the security crazy one because you go to other asylums and like, you know, they're maximum security and like they can't even roam. So this is definitely not it. Pretty actually relaxing. Is this the last remaining bed, you think, in this whole place? Yep. Right here. UE pick setup. You, he means urban explorer pick setup. <laughs> this is it. He caught us. Now we enter the girl's side. And the only reason why I'm guessing or know this is because literally the elevators and doors are pink. Oh, and now we're getting to some spicy stuff. So right here was like their, uh, their little like freedom area. They can chill in the girl's ward. It's actually pretty dope. Because when you leave here, they all lived in, they had a little like maximum security area, right? You know, this is like the, the administration little office right here to control the rooms and things like that. But right here, look at this. This is where they chilled in. I like these doors. They had one little peak room here. Super small. I might go crazy if I stayed here. 
I'm digging that though. It's cool that they actually gave it a little like pink vibe. It doesn't even fit in. Wow, shout out to the pink doors and shout out to the pink hoodie. <laughs> Dude, if you go through that door, you're gonna go through the upside down world. This is the next dimension. But it doesn't open, so I guess we're locked out of it. Let me try it. Oh, yeah, if you will. As you can tell, guys, we are in a super chill mood. Like, we're just relaxing, we're chilling. It's one of those, like, been there, done that kind of vibes where, like, we're just having a good time exploring. I'm not like super intrigued and I'm just hanging out with the homies. And that's what I like about it too, though. We're all hanging out and doing stupid, funny stuff. And we are exploring though. Don't get me wrong. We have a lot, of, there's still a lot more to go. Beth's been here before and she's like, yeah, there's still, there's still a lot more cool things. And we're just hanging out. So we just found a hydrotherapy tub. They did a lot of hydrotherapy here. Check this out. For a place being so old, it's actually pretty well kept up. Dude, I love this. Every asylum back in the day in New England had these floors, and these are my favorite, favorite floors. When I was younger, guys, I used to break dance a lot, and I used to take linoleum mats, put them outside and stuff, and it would always be a checkered floor. But like, I don't know, something about it just brings back like those, the 90s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s vibes. Love this. You hear that? That's the roaring from the wind. Here's their mini cafeteria. You get your food here, a little setup. This would be like, you know, maybe about a good 50, 50 people looking lunchroom. Somehow Seth can't find his way out to the basement. So I think he's like gonna jump from the window. That's ridiculous. Let's go over there. Seth, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't think he knows there's a door under him. He can't see it. Bro, you are not getting down from there. So, all right, Seth, right under you directly, you can't see it, but there's a door under you. So you're gonna go find one more stairway down and you're gonna get out of here because it's already five o'clock. <laughs> There you go, bro. Did you thought we jumped from there? Huh? Did you thought we came out of there? Yeah, dude, I thought you told me to jump. So I oh. <laughs> dude, no. So this is the rec room, I think, and we're heading up inside there now. We have a theater in there, a gym inside. Might be a little flooded. But again, like I said, we're in a campus, guys. Just full of tons of buildings. You're allowed to walk the grounds and things. Sticking outside the door is a hand. What the heck? It's Halloween. There's a paintbrush on the ground. It used to be a trampoline. Oh. And we're in the gym at the same time. That's cool. Dude, they're all padded walls because of, you know, mentally disabled and everything. So they padded up the whole entire gym. It's actually a fresh gym for what it is. And I would expect this to be way more destroyed. Someone did some sick zombie art here. It's somewhat half gone though. The brain's coming out. This is, this is like a cringy moment. This is a cringy thing we're doing. Okay. Oh, no. 
You missed? So everyone missed. You know, I used to be a beer pong pro. Oh, yeah? oh, <laughs> it doesn't look like it. Oops. Though. So they obviously took out all the seats, but to be honest, this is a actually pretty big theater for an asylum. I don't think I've been to too many that were this big, at least. So they had the money, they had the funds. All right, now onward to the bowling alley. I don't, I don't, I don't. All right, hey, let me see how bad it is. It's I have bad. a quick on. It's bad. Is it? Oh my God. <laughs> you can peek around, I don't know. You can, well, you can see it? I don't know. Nah, we can't get to the bowling alley. This is way worse. The water's past my ankles. Unless it's down here. Yeah, this, yeah, look at this. No, there's no way. I mean, it might be down here. It might be down there. You just wanted me to get my shoes wet. You lie. I... So the other, the opposite side, it keeps going. So we might be able to get to the tunnels. Or a bowling alley. Or this is leading to another building. <laughs> we're, we're leaving Seth. <laughs> we are now underground. So we just came out of there. It says food truck route and fallout shelter. Wait, we did get to another building. Wreck. Oh. Okay. This is the one across the street that you pointed out that you've been in here. I don't think so, dude. I've never been in here. I have never been in here. We're in no man's land now. We just left Seth. We just lost Seth in the rack room. <laughs> so five minutes has gone by since the last play, but we are thinking that this was the actual original building we were just in. Yes, it was. Is it? That's tricky. Dang, you're right. Well, that just saved us time from getting Seth. Now we just saved us. Dude, we just went all the way back to your original building. Just found the tunnels. Dude, uh, if we can only take the other tunnels, but they're flooded, that can get us to every building. Seth literally has no idea that just we just went back to the original building we were just in through the tunnels. He doesn't know anything about the tunnels. We're going back through the tunnels. We're gonna meet up with him. We're just gonna keep on going. We're back in the rec room now, where Seth is apparently. I just don't know where. I'm just seeing what else could be here. Cool little, maybe like a, a health classroom. Oh, yeah, I, forgot. Oh, I, I was saying. like, when I was down there in my head, I'm like, I'm gonna go to projector screens. I didn't say it in the video, but I was like, I wanna go there. And they're actually freaking still here. That's so cool. Isn't it? That's my favorite part. I totally forgot. This is like really, really, really cool. <laughs> Maybe my favorite part of all uh, Fairfield is right here. Look at this. Wait, wait, wait. There's, there's reels or something in here too. Is it? What's in here? This is the film cabinet right here, see? Film cabinet. There's nothing in it though. This is the last building before we have uh, maximum security want to go into. Apparently Beth said there's a creepy one she wants to go into and I guess there's even two more besides that. But the maximum security one is going to have this whole entire checkered floor room. There's this bathroom picture I want to take too. So we're almost done this video but there's still some more to go and explore. Obviously anything could happen when you're doing this. We could find a dead guy, we could just bump into people. Anything can happen. But right now, right before we go, we ended it here inside the culinary room. This is obviously the kitchen, the cooking room. And it's crazy because everything is still here, like, I mean, like the, the, the labels, the casserole dishes, the gravy boats, the custard cups. I like it. I mean, you don't want to eat that or drink it, but it's there for you. left the rec building. Now inside this building is very important because this is the hallway shots I've been trying to get a photo of and the architecture is great in there so we're gonna go up in there quick before the sun gets down. Go up in there, shoot it, and bounce. I need those shots. Now this is an asylum I would picture like from American Horror Story. This is a great building. Yo, this is it dude. This is so sick. So sick. 
This has to be the best hallway photo shot. How did I just not, how did I overlook this? How did I not come here? I don't know, but look at these boxes too. Huh? Oh, all oh, the old telephone booths. Yeah, this of is amazing. The freaking spiderweb kind of windows. There's an eagle on it. Look at this. This is, this is what's up. This is what's up. Dude. Oh my god. This is amazing. Just just coming here alone for photos in this hallway is worth it. This is top notch. I thought I seen so many photos of this place and I actually never thought it was from here. No, but seriously, on some real stuff, no matter what asylum, what other building you're gonna go to, it's never gonna look like this again. Like this, unless like someone decides to specifically make this. This kind of architecture is no longer here. You're not gonna get it. later i just got some instagram shots check out the instagram to see it exploring with josh link in the description down below this is the entrance of this place again some more really cool creepy designs it's the dopest dude seth's getting his shots now too hopefully they're cool i want to walk through are you still taking photos yeah i'm bracketing oh i just lit up your room with the my bad bro it might still be okay I'm gonna go upstairs really quick so I can see like what's good. Now guys, if you're wondering what's down these hallways, there's absolutely nothing inside. These are actually where the um, administration like people would stay, whether it's the nurses, uh, you know, whatever, just workers would stay here. But they were treated good here. This is dang for sure. Amazing spot, I'm gonna go upstairs quick. We are definitely losing light now, but we have to go hit up the maximum security place. I actually might have to come back here to get some more photos. Again, there's really nothing here. It's just their dorms. Actually, this is... They showered mad close together. Hallelujah. This is just freaking crazy. Like, I want my room to look like this. This is like amazing blue tint. It's like this highlighter blue. I love it. Such a cool spot. So far, my favorite building. I mean, this is just so awesome. The hall, the nice like hall arches, and you go through. You know, you know what else is good? That hallway, no graffiti on it at all, untouched. Why? Because obviously everyone appreciates that dang picture, the dang view. It's like too good. Yo, what, what happened? Oh, what? oh, dude, that's, that's sick. That's sick. We take that chandelier, we can set it up and get a really no. cool shot. This was like a dude. This and this is elevator antique right here. Yo, look at the buttons. That's so cool. fresh. Look, look up at the details. Yo, look at this. Someone smashed this door, and look what was inside. It's just like a, what is this, the iron board? Laundry. Just the iron, yeah, the, all the laundry. Oh, yeah, 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 right there. I didn't see that. Just a chill little room. Look at the, the hangers are still there. Dude, it's like, it's frozen in time. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Guys, I want to report that we are in May, and it's snowing right now. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. This is truly Silent Hill because it snows in their abandoned places. It doesn't matter if it's summer. I don't, I don't know why it's snowing today. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's literally May It's the end of the world. <laughs> Dude, I know. Look at, look, look at the snow on his hair. It's real. This is, we're in May, May 9th or 6th. Dude. The snow is blowing around on the streets. And the sun is still out too. That's the crazy thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is it! May snow showers! Tailing right now! Tailing, bro! It is, this is thick snow, man. It's like the, the slushies I drink, bro. Last but not least, guys, we are in the maximum security pretty much prison guys the asylum part we talked about in the beginning i don't say anything maximum about it yet but we will 
Nothing artistic as the last building so far walking in. It says grave mind. Should I go in? Um, I wouldn't. So Beth says here there's going to be like the checkered flooring that we like. So that's what we're pretty much here for. All right. Are you seeing checkered floors? Thank you. Oh, this, this place is like a, a good wing. It's a sick wing. Check this, if you look down, it can go and it turns more that way. Okay. So I think the only reason why um, the patients were able to get this is because they're pretty much stuck in here. So they were able to get a lot more view and see the outside. So they were given like this little area full of glass. <laughs> the area full of glass. Floor two. Cool. Explorers, we've been exploring for like the last five, four hours inside this place. Non-stop walking, a lot of crazy stuff. Ooh. I dig it. We're opened up. Yeah, look at that. Look at the tiles here. Yeah, this is what, this is what I'm talking about. Hey, let me see. Right here. Maximum security. All right. It's real. We found it. You're not crazy. Dude, it's the real deal. Here we go. We are exploring the maximum ward. But of course, there's gonna be no beds or anything left here. Oh, look at these window blocks. Right here, sorry I'm moving too quick, guys. These are cool. So this is their natural lighting. This is all they got here at the Maximum Ward. And look at this. They, they're right here. Now you notice they don't even have a window like everyone else. They have no window. They were just there. I mean, they got the outside window, but they don't have the window with the doors. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I'm just like panning my camera, guys. I mean, check this out. Look at this like hallway. Again, you head out of here, you have the tiles. This is a really old school look. You see an American Horror Story Asylum. You go into the next room. I like this. I mean, this is it. You're able to walk in here only and <laughs> you're caged up. <laughs> Literally, jeez. Wow. Actually, surprisingly, there's not one broken bathroom sink. I usually see broken bathtubs and everything. That's just odd to look at, actually. Look at this contraption. It's like dominoes. Seth, do you think our viewers made it to the end of the video? I mean, I sure hope so, man. This place is awesome. I hope so too. It might be a long video, but guys, you gotta understand, like, we explore everything. We check everything. There's not one thing that we're gonna miss. Maybe occasionally, sometimes it happens, but... It does happen sometimes, but we do try. Most of the time, we make our videos long because, like, we actually care about these places. We want to put the effort in and help you guys explore them like we're exploring them. Yes. Why is the kids, like... Is maybe he's just stuck in the tree. Look at this. It's just his legs. It's like he's... It's purposely painted this way. It's a yeah. It's a kid what the heck is going on here? We thought of a lot of ways we wanted to end this long, crazy explore, and we decided we're gonna go inside this last building, go inside to the tower, and end the video in the tower, and then look at the sunset. Can we do it? We'll find out. This tub room, I, I was trying to take a picture. This is the only reason, like, I was like, yeah, I don't care for those pills. This is where the tub is that everybody like takes a picture in right here. But like, I said, if I ever come here, I'm gonna get this shot. So I got the shot right here. It's just like, I don't know, something moody and vibe about it. How'd it get there? Guys, we've been here. We we're supposed to end the video on the tower. The sun's coming down, but we're just staring at the bathtub, taking the photo. We're getting every angle of this bathtub right now. All right guys, so we kind of messed up. The problem was we were supposed to go on that tower, but then we got carried away for the sunset because we liked this bathroom so much that we took like 30 to 40 minutes of photos here. Now without this light, 
it is well without his light too. It is super dark outside. I don't think we're getting inside. Beth is just watching us, being like, "Why is she? They taking so much pictures of the bathtub." I don't know, guys. It turns out I don't think we are getting inside that tower now. Um, it's cool though. The bathtub's cool. <laughs> Check out the photos on the Instagram. Uh, yeah, so I think this is it. I mean, guys, we went through almost every single building here. Luckily, we had Beth there because Beth took us through all the spots, so we didn't have to waste our time going through buildings that maybe didn't have anything there. Um, it's a journey. It's a journey. This was, I probably walked like five or six miles nonstop today. Super hungry. I'm probably going to get some bomb food right now. And this is where we're going to end today's video. We've seen it all. And yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like the merch you've seen in this video, whether it's the pink hoodie, the yellow hoodie, you can, you can check out my merch shop. It's called riseabove.shop in the link in the description down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Tune into the next video. Rise Above. Just get out there and explore. Peace. Thanks for watching.